Okay, hi, um, I'm Anne-Sophie André. I work for BP. I'm the head of Global Process Architecture. And um, yesterday we heard a lot about uh, customer experience and uh, over the course of the presentations, a lot also about how you connect strategy. And thanks, Peter, you know, this, it was really brilliant in terms of um, setting up the scene for the critical importance of creating coherence between strategy and, um, and execution. Um, I want to share uh, the journey that um, Castrol and BP have been on um, to create a process excellence function and evolve its role um, in order to create that coherence between strategy and, and execution. So after a little bit of context, um, I will discuss um, how we've set up our process excellence function, um, why we have process architecture, and um, what mission we've given it over the, the course of time. And I do realize I'm standing in, front, in between you and lunch. Uh, I don't mind interruptions, so if you have a question, you don't want to wait till the end, please shout out. Um, so, a few words about BP. Um, this is what I got from the corporate website at the top. I don't really get the analogy, because probably because I'm French, but this is a cup of tea analogy. So, we produce 3.3 million barrels a day, which is the equivalent of 16 Olympic pools of tea, apparently. Um, lots of brands, um, 85,000 people. And if you think of uh, filling up four cars per second, four planes per minute, that's the sort of thing that BP does. It produces a lot of oil, um, gets it out of the ground, um, and refines it, produces products, um, and then sells those products. Fuels, things that go in the car, in planes, in ships, in um, industry machinery. Um, I work for Castrol. Castrol's the lubricants company of the BP group. Um, it was a standalone company. It was bought in 2000. So we've been, um, uh, if you like, adding to the, the BP uh, realm. Um, and it's a very customer-driven um, part of BP, very different in that sense. Um, you can see how many customers are served every day. Um, it's it's um, very intense with regards to brand management, marketing, uh, lots of creativity, lots of entrepreneurship, not a lot of processes. People don't respond to processes very, very easily. Um, so it's the sort of culture that, um, that prevails and it's very important um, thing to note. Customer-wise, we serve large distributors who then resell to smaller businesses. Um, we sell to retailers, so you can pick up a, um, a bottle of oil to do your refill yourself. We sell to workshops and car manufacturers, in industry um, equipment manufacturers, some, some companies much bigger than, than we are ourselves. So, why process architecture and then why strategic process architecture? Um, it's a bit of a moving target. Um, we are responding to a challenging sales environment. Sometimes it's challenging, sometimes it's helping. But one thing is constant within the BP group and that's, that's cost discipline. Capital and cost discipline is the absolute rule. So we need processes that can stand the course through these variations in the market through that constant around capital spend, uh, but also within a rather, um, you know, still unfinished um, um, standardization of ERPs. Um, we are a global company. Um, we're part of a global group. Uh, we have huge lists of legacy systems. And it takes time to get all of that aligned. Um, and of course, as you know, all of you have experienced in your respective companies, we have also set up our global business services and transformed that, and, we're, and are still transforming that over time.